Hi, this is Teresa Jackson with a Photoshop tutorial about path operations. You can find the path operations in the option bar when you're creating or editing a shape layer. Currently, I'm on the ellipse tool. The path operations work the same for any kind of shape layer, including custom shapes that you might draw with the pen tool. If I switch to the pen tool and choose the option in the corner here to shape, we also have path operations. I'm going to demonstrate the path operations with a simple circle shape. I'll select the ellipse tool and I've chosen a red fill color and a blue stroke color at four pixels. And then I'll just draw out a shape here. And we'll see as soon as I draw that shape that it's added the ellipse shape layer to my layers panel. The shape must be active for the path operations to work. Currently this circle shape is active because I can see the points on the path. I'm going to do a command. I'm going to hold the command key down. That would be a control key on your PC, which switches to my ellipse tool to the selection tool. If I click away from the shape, it deactivates it and we don't see the path handles. To reactivate it, I'll do the same thing. I'll hold my command key down or a control key and click on it and that activates the path. Now that the path is active, the path operations are also active. Let's take a look at the path operations. The first option is new layer. So as what would be expected, if I drag out an ellipse, it adds a layer to my layer stack here. If I want to add a shape to the current shape layer, I need to change this option to combine shapes. But I also need to make sure that the current shape layer is active. So again, command key gives me my selection tool and I'll click on that to activate it. Then I will switch this to combine shapes and I'll drag out an elliptical here. And now we have two circles on the same shape layer. If these two circles intersect with each other, they act like a single shape. I'm going to use my command key and select this second circle I drew and cross it over the first circle. And you'll see that the stroke, we'll zoom on in this so we can see, the stroke acts like this is all part of a single shape, even though they're still separate and I can move them around. With the path operations, I can merge these shapes together they have to be active and then I'll come down here to merge shape components and now if I select this path you'll see that it's a single path not two intersecting paths. Now let's take a look at the subtract front shape option. I'm going to activate my circle and switch to subtract front shape. That makes a reverse of what I have. It creates a donut hole in my shape layer. That's not what I was trying to achieve with this. So I'm going to do a command Z to undo it. And now I'm still on the subtract front shape option. If I drag out another ellipse, it will cut out the first circle. And I can move this around and it's like having a live shape property here as we cut this out. If I want to combine these so that I just have the moon shape, I would go back under here and say merge shape components. Intersect shape areas creates a new shape where two shapes overlap each other. And again, I can move this around to change the shape where they cross. And if I want to merge that and create a single shape, I would merge shape components. Exclude overlapping shapes creates the opposite effect. We end up with a hole in between the shapes where they overlap each other. With the selection tool, you can make a copy of a shape if you add the option key or the alt key and then drag. And they will remain on the same shape layer. I'm going to do a command Z to undo that. If you do the same function with the move tool, so I'll go up to the move tool and then I'll hold my option key down and drag that out. That creates a second layer. So now I have two layers. These two shape layers can be combined to a single shape layer, but first I have to select both. Using the shift key, I'll click on ellipse one, go to my layers options, 
and choose Merge Shapes. And that combines those two shape layers to a single shape layer. A single shape layer can only be a single color. So if I merge these two shape layers, they're going to take the same color of the top layer.